So this was Mr. Corey Duke. He was our 30-year-old, previously healthy man who presented to us with acute onset nausea, vomiting, and abdominal pain. About four hours ago, he says he was picnicking with some friends and when he ate some chicken salad, which he says was a bit suspicious. Uh, 30 minutes after eating it, he noticed developing some nausea that progressed to vomiting as well as some cramping abdominal pain. Uh, the vomit he described as more yellow in color with food contents that progressed to dry heaving. Uh, he denies noticing any blood in the vomit at any point during the episode uh, since that time. He also described uh, some cramping abdominal pain uh, in the epigastric region, kind of intermittent in nature, uh, coming and going with the episodes of vomiting. Uh, he described it as a 4 out of 10 in intensity at its worst. He hasn't really tried anything for either the nausea or the abdominal pain, but says he can't really keep fluids down, uh, which is really what's brought him here given the duration of his symptoms and the fact that he can't really drink anything. Um, the review of systems was overall otherwise negative. He denied having any fever subjectively, no headaches or visual changes, no dizziness or lightheadedness, uh, no shortness of breath or palpitations could be appreciated for him. Uh, he's had no diarrhea either or urinary uh, changes and no other symptoms that he wanted to report. Um, his medical history is overall unremarkable, has had no diseases that he requires treatment for. He does not take any medications frequently apart from an occasional Tylenol uh, if he ever gets a headache. Uh, he's had no prior surgeries, he has no allergies, uh, and his family history is unremarkable as well. Um, he lives at home with his cat here in Birmingham. No other people live in the home with him. Uh, he's a graduate student at UAB uh, and has been respecting social distancing since the outbreak of the pandemic. Um, he does not smoke. He drinks one to two beers monthly uh, with friends, though he says lately he has not had any beers owing to, again, the social distancing. Um, he denies any substance use history or taking any pills that are not prescribed to him. Um, he has been sexually active in the past year with one female partner, uh, genital intercourse only, and they use, have used condoms consistently. Objectively, his vitals were notable only for a tachycardia to 104. Otherwise, he was a febrile, normotensive, breathing and satting well on room air. On exam, he was a young man uh, sitting on the exam table, no acute distress, able to speak in complete sentences um, and participate throughout the exam uh, following commands appropriately. Abdominal exam was relatively benign. Uh, abdomen was non-distended, um, normal active bowel sounds, tympanic percussion with a liver span at seven centimeters. Spleen could not be appreciated. Um, palpation w of the epigastric region did elicit some tenderness, even to mild palpation, but was otherwise uh, non-tender. There was no guarding noted on the exam either. Um, and no peritoneal signs, no rebound tenderness, so as sign negative, obturator sign also negative. So my assessment is that this is an otherwise healthy 30-year-old man who presents to us with sudden onset abdominal pain with nausea and vomiting, likely due to acute bacterial enteritis, possibly staph enteritis given the chicken salad that he's eaten. Uh, the treatment for that is typically supportive care, so I'd recommend uh, repleting him with some fluids, especially given his tachycardia. It's likely due to his volume status. Um, he's been a febrile, and so I don't think there's any reason to be concerned at this point uh, for any systemic illness for him. Um, for the emesis, though, I think he could benefit from some sublingual endansetron or Zofran or other IV formulations, but I don't think he could tolerate PO medicines at this point. Um, I don't think there's any reason to keep him here overnight or in the hospital. Uh, he says he has a neighbor who can come and transport him home, although they said they have masks, uh, so I think that would be safe to do at this point, um, but there, I don't think there's any reason to keep him in the hospital. Um, so that's it. Well, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. We certainly enjoyed making it. But if you have questions or suggestions on future topics to make videos on, uh, please use the comments section below and let us know what you're thinking. 
we're certainly looking for ways to make virtual learning more engaging, especially in the setting of this pandemic. Um, you can also subscribe to this channel uh, to see videos that would come in the future.